as time begins, and continues to collapse, the concept of remembering is gradually replaced with the concept of knowing. At first, knowing feels similar to remembering, but you increasingly realize that remembering had doubt, whereas knowing, is. In other words, when you know, you are free of all doubt. Being free of doubt is challenging as there is nowhere to hide, and you are completely vulnerable and in the daily process of full disclosure of all that you have blocked from your awareness so far. This freedom from doubt is amazingly liberating. Most of you have had no idea how much doubt has interfered in your life, as you had never lived without it. Freedom from doubt allows you to progress deeper and deeper into the now of knowing. Remembering is a time-based concept, because you perceive yourself in the present while you remember the past. Therefore, remembering is a third and fourth dimensional construct. We use the word construct because your third and fourth dimensional brain has constructed a barrier around unsafe memories from your past. That past could have been yesterday or myriad lives ago in your third dimensional incarnations. However, as third and fourth dimensional time begins to collapse, it is replaced with the no time of the fifth dimensional now. In other words, as the third dimensional time slowly unravels within the synapses of your physical brain, you begin to search for what you believe you have lost. It is within this searching that you begin to find your higher self. And, your higher self will likely be one or more galactic and or celestial beings. Yes, you all have many versions of your multi-dimensional self. The versions of your multi-dimensional self that you will first remember are the ones with whom you have been consciously, or unconsciously, communicating with for a long time. If you have been consciously communicating with your expanded self, you may, or may not, have recognized that this self is one of the higher dimensional expressions of your multi-dimensional self. Once you realize that, you, the one wearing the earth vessel, is just one of the myriad versions of your true, multi-dimensional self, the release of time will greatly accelerate. You will gradually realize that you are going through the familiar process of remembering that there are expressions of your multi-dimensional self that resonate to the higher dimensions of reality. However, with this growing up, your body is not just maturing from an infant, to a baby, to a toddler, to a child. In the now of this process, you are growing literally up, not into an older age, but into a higher dimensional expression of your multi-dimensional self. In fact, once you move into the mid-planes of the fourth dimension, you will realize how very childlike you were while your consciousness was limited to your third dimensional reality. As your concepts of time are placed within a now, your concepts of space are replaced by here. Some of you have chosen a slow gradual progression of your return to self. Others have chosen a very swift alteration of your perception of time, as well as your perception of your own higher self. However, no matter how gradual you chose for your return to self to be, Gaia's return to her fifth dimensional self is greatly accelerating. Because of Gaia's advancing ascension process, all her humans will need to release their attachment to third dimensional time and space. Those who are not able to release the operating system of the third dimensional matrix will remain on the third dimensional matrix. This third dimensional matrix has become too constricting for the expanding frequencies of Gaia's Earth. Therefore, she will shed it, much like a hermit crab sheds a shell, which it has outgrown. However, Gaia will not leave her shell on the ocean floor like a hermit crab. Instead, that matrix will be relocated to another, younger planet, whose primary resonance will remain in the third dimension for many millennia. Those who are only aware of the matrix as their only reality, will have third dimensional time to continue their process of returning to their multi-dimensional self. Those who remain with ascending Gaia may or may not be aware of those who are not aware of their opportunity to shift into a higher frequency of reality, because their experience of ascension will be shifting so quickly. Furthermore, the lifting up of those who are ready to return to self has been occurring for much of your time. Hence, 
those who wish to return to their multi-dimensional selves, and those who are not ready to make that shift, have already moved into very different lifestyles and versions of reality. Most of those who have chosen to return to their higher dimensional expression have already released people, places, and experiences that bind them to the matrix. Most of you, the ascending ones, have been aware of this release. In fact, you have lived within an ever accelerating process of letting go of that which binds you to the 3D matrix. With the release of your former, third dimensional limitations, you are discovering that time is increasingly collapsing into the now. Within this now, you are beginning to remember your higher dimensional expressions of reality. Many of you are connecting with your higher dimensional self via meditation and or your daily interdimensional communications. At first, your third dimensional brain doubted these interdimensional communications, but now you are learning to live by them. You are increasingly seeking guidance from within your own higher dimensional self. This inner guidance is preparing you for the shift from the third dimensional operating system of time and separation, to the multi-dimensional operating system of now and the unity with all life. Fortunately, your individual shifts are uniting into a wave of multi-dimensional energy fields and thought forms. As more and more of you participate in this collective experience, this multi-dimensional wave will expand enough to grab the attention of many who have been trapped in third-dimensional illusion. Therefore, we ask that you, the ones who are fully awakened and ready for active duty, assist the newly awakening ones in whatever manner you chose before you took this incarnation. Yes, you, our volunteers to assist Gaia wrote your own mission statements before you entered the earth vessel you are currently wearing. The first clue to remembering your own mission statement is that you will love doing it. In fact, you will likely feel impelled and driven to do what you have chosen to do before you took this form. We say, do, because we need your help. We do not need your help because we cannot do it ourselves. We need your help because Gaia is a free will planet. Therefore, the members of her planet must create their own reality. We know that to many of you, it does not appear that you have created your own reality. But that is because you were lost to the power over others virus that invaded Gaia's operating system long, long ago. Gaia chose a very difficult operating system of free will. Free will is beautiful when guided by power within beings who live their lives guided by unconditional love. However, free will is very difficult when some members of a society are tainted by power over others and fear-based emotions. It is for this reason, that so many galactic and celestial beings are actively assisting Gaia. In your past decades, you discovered that humanity was still too lost in illusion to believe in our landings. Hence, many of our emissaries of light have chosen to actually take a human body to work from within the 3D operating system. It has been a very long and difficult assignment for many of them, but we are now beginning to see the results. For example, whereas once the sightings of our crafts brought terror and threats of war, these sightings are now welcomed with joy and hope. Dear members of Gaia's Ascending Earth, we commend you on your magnificent return to self. Therefore, we are continuing our transmissions to Earth. In fact, we are now sending these messages directly to you, the ones who have shown your desire to assist with planetary ascension. You will be the ones who will translate the light language messages that you are receiving, recognizing, and even translating to your 3D language. We wish to assist all of you to remember how you can translate your light language into the third dimensional language of your area. In fact, if you create a time and place to which you return as much as possible, you will create a thought form that will remain in that location even after you have left it. Then, when you return to that location, you will feel the interdimensional energy field that you have created. This interdimensional energy field will actually seep deeper and deeper into the body of Gaia. In fact, you will create an interdimensional portal through which you can communicate with your higher dimensional self and your interdimensional family. 
as third dimensional time continues to collapse into the fifth dimensional now, the concept of remembering will gradually be replaced with the concept of knowing. In other words, when you know something, you are free of all doubt. Being free of the habit of doubt is difficult, as your third dimensional reality has continually reminded you that you are not quite good enough. However, this old indoctrination, which began with the Illuminati, is being increasingly recognized as more and more of you return to your starships in your night body. When you return to your true self on your starship or home world in your dreams or meditations, you learn or remember how to integrate your true third dimensional earth vessel into your multi-dimensional light body. It is the integration with your multi-dimensional light body self with your third dimensional physical self, that allows you to remember why you took an earth vessel in this now, as well as how your fifth dimensional self on the ship is assisting you within every moment of your now. Once you have remembered to make the conscious connection with your higher self on the ship, or your higher dimensional home world, you will no longer feel alone. You will feel the constant connection with a component of yourself that has a higher perspective of your daily life. Once you can connect with this higher perspective, not only will you more easily find solutions to 3D issues, which you find via your conscious communication with your higher self, you will no longer feel alone. A quick meditation to align with your higher dimensional perceptions is all you will need to remember that you are not alone. In fact, through your conscious, and constant, connection with your higher dimensional self, you will find solutions and answers to many of your daily challenges. You will also find comfort and companionship. Yes, via your daily check-ins with yourself. You will establish an open portal of communication through which you can send a quick, good morning, or a help me, please. Whether you are just saying hello or asking for assistance, the response will be immediate because the you that is answering and assisting the you on earth exists outside of your third dimensional time. This higher dimensional expression of your multi-dimensional self is free of third dimensional time and space. Therefore. Yourself is always with you. And, because this self resonates to the fifth dimension, this you can instantly remember your past and perceive your future options. We say options, as Gaia is a free will planet, and you are creating your life every day and every minute. We are aware that you, our brave volunteers to take an Earth vessel, have the great challenge of polarities of good and bad, as well as the constant movement through time and space. Therefore, we remind you to give us a call. Since we, your higher selves, assist you individually, as well as within your family systems and groups. We are you, and we are always with you. Please don't forget that we are the you that will always answer your call. Blessings of unconditional love from your galactic family.